Alright man, G give give them the whole rundown. Mm. Alright, so basically, some of my lug stems broke off, right? So I'm trying to replace them and well, I go to take off my caliper and well, yeah. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Back to your story. Okay, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I got the caliper off, but see, there's a catch to it. One of the bolts to the caliper actually broke and was stuck inside of it. Grab so, it. Show them real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. You see, that's one side of it. You can see it's still in there. And then, yeah, you can see that. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like where you can just get the bolt out. And yeah, you see the bolt is still like stuck in there. So basically, it was already difficult to get out, so what I had to do was I had to drill some of it to try to grind it down, and then I used the bolt from the brake line to actually push out the um, rotor and to actually pop it out just enough to be able to pull the caliper off. And getting just enough off so that I can pull it out, the threads got shot, and well, basically, the, yeah, the caliper's bad. <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> so consequently, if you're looking at this from this side, right? You see how this hole, that hole, you can still see like where the hole is supposed to be at and where the bolt starts. Where this hole is like nothing in it. Which one? Got, just flip it over. It was the bottom bolt. Yeah, so the bottom bolt got stuck. And the whole reason he was taking this off was because his lug nuts kept breaking, breaking. Which is like, as you can see, like these are like real corroded. Which yeah, you that's might, the only, well, if you want to call it good, good, good one. Yeah. This one messed up when my tire went flat. And if and you get a close up, I don't really think you guys can see the threads of it, but I'm trying to get a nice, decent close up, but I won't focus. The threads are like stripped down. Yeah. And I don't know if that's like a Subaru OEM problem they have with their studs or like, I don't know. I've never had the problem with my car. Yeah, I don't know. But basically, I looked online and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I've seen on a lot of forums is that the metal on the bolt that goes into the, um, the brake caliper, yeah, so the brake caliper, that metal. Yeah. And the metal on the Brembo are actually different metals. So over time, it causes a chemical rea reaction, which causes corrosion and makes it harder to get the bolts out. Now I had another uh, caliper on the back do the same thing and the bolt got stuck. But luckily we were able to actually get that out. I don't know how we did it, but we were able to get it out without harming the threads or anything like that. But the front ones, they're exposed to more heat and I guess it was worse off. So it ended up being stuck. They couldn't get it off anyway. I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't have come out regardless. So basically I have to get a new caliper now. A new Brembo. So you know what that means. Guess who gets a free Brembo? <gasps> Not you. If I get that bolt out, it's fine. I mean, either way though, this is a common issue. Like I've seen forums with people saying that like, this has happened, so. Yeah. So I'm like, it's a stupid thing. I'm gonna end up having to do something. I know there are ways to treat it or something like that so that you don't have the problem anymore but i'm gonna end up getting them all done anyway because i know that i'll probably have some more studs break on me at some point so i might as well fix the issue and then i'll probably end up having my um brake calipers painted anyway so yeah. i want to go for that acid green something like what subaru offers in the newer stis so i like that but yeah this sucks because right now my subie's down and it's ironic because it's parked right by yours broken Get that? Broken. Yeah. Subi Graveyard. Yeah. Honestly, man, I got my beater in the back. <laughs> my beer. Look, I don't I even wish care. I had a beater. Look. My beater don't work. <laughs> yeah, it is what we, it is. You know, like we like we told y'all, we've been working on other stuff. It's kind of weird because I'm talking and they can't see me, but they know who I look and they know who I am. Yeah. We've been working on other stuff, you know, business-wise. 
Yeah, that's been taking priority mainly. Because that's that's mainly our main concern right now. Because the more successful that is, the more we can do. Period. Yeah. Not even yeah. talking about Subies alone. Like yeah, we're just talking about in general in life. Yeah. So, we're definitely take that's taking priority. This will get fixed at some point, probably within a month or something like that. Probably sooner than that. But, I mean, look for now, it's on the back burner. I mean, we all go through these periods where your car's down. So, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. It's not like it's a expensive fix. It'll get done. The storm's coming. I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. Read that like, I just read it on forms, but I'm not sure. So, please, if you do know what the problem is, if there's a problem at all, let us know. If not, let me know anyway. So, I won't be blaming Subaru for the wrong reasons. I don't want to be that guy. So, but, I mean, yeah, it's just frustrating. It's, an, it's a nuisance, but it's whatever. I still love my car. So, screw it. Super gang. Yeah, it's yeah, been your yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. J-Dog. J-Dog? That's what I'm going by now. I'm signing off. We out, man. Us and the break. Catch you in the next one.